Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a really exciting holiday project for you guys. We are making these really fun Christmas coasters. And if you don't celebrate the holidays, we also have an optional just plain pine tree for you. So to get started on this project, you only need a few materials. Firstly, of course, is your yarn. Today we are using Zara by Filatura de Crosset in color number 1381 for the base. We are using Zara color number 1533 for the stem. And then we are also using Knight, which is a lace weight lame, and this is in color number 202. So today I am going to be working on a US 5 or 3.75 millimeters. And lastly, you need a tapestry needle and scissors. Okay, let's get started. To start your little Christmas trees or pine trees, whatever you like to call them, is cast on 31 stitches. I'm gonna use the long tail cast on, however you can use whatever method you're most comfortable with. So what we're gonna do for the first row is knit that very first stitch in just the green Zara. After you do that, you're going to pierce the second stitch as if to knit, but you're also going to add in one strand of lame. So now we have two yarns that we're working with. So then you're just going to knit along the entire row until you get to the very last stitch. Okay, so now that I'm on the last stitch, I'm just gonna take one strand of the Zara. I'm gonna leave the knight out, do you see? So I'm just going to use the Zara to knit that very last stitch. We're doing this because it creates a really, really clean edge. So now we are on our second row and what we are going to do here is just slip that first stitch purlwise do you see that here? Just slip it in as if to purl and pop it off the needle. Then take just the Zara, you're leaving the lame out. So in this project, you're gonna work the night every three rows because we don't want it to be oversaturated for just this one. So we are going to add in a little bit of a pop of lame. So then you're just gonna knit as usual. Be sure you catch both the knight and the Zara in your needles, just knitting through to the end. So far, so good. This is kind of what you can see. You can see the little bits of sparkly yarn popping through, but for the most part, it's just our green Zara. So now we are on the third row. So this is gonna be our very first decrease row. So the same as we did in the last row, we are going to slip that very first stitch purlwise. And then we're gonna take the yarn and bring it to the back. So then what we're gonna do for this very first de decrease, we're gonna decrease on the edges of both the right and the left side of the project. So we're gonna do a slip slip knit. So we slip that first stitch slip that second stitch knitwise. So three stitches are on your right needles. And then you're gonna take your left needle and bring it through the front of two stitches. Wrap your yarn around and knit those two stitches together into one. So do you see how those three stitches became two stitches? And then you knit along until you're three stitches from the end of your project. Okay, now that we only have three stitches left on the left-hand needle, what we're going to do is knit these two stitches together. So to do that, you just bring your needle all the way to the left of the first two stitches and pierce it through the middle of both of them. The same way we did for the slip slip knit, we're going to 
do it just the opposite way. So just as you're going to knit regularly, you bring your needle through the middle of these two stitches, wrap your yarn around, and make those two stitches one stitch. And then you're just gonna knit your last stitch. In this project, you're always going to knit the last stitch of the row, just because it's going to finish out your selvaged edge and make it look really, really clean at the end. So we're gonna repeat these three rows until we get to row number 18. So you're going to do six repeats of these three rows. So I'm gonna go ahead and knit up to row 18. So remember, you're just knitting the first row held with the lame, knitting the second row as usual. And then the third row, you're going to slip slip knit and knit two together on the end. So I'll show you guys one more repeat of how that looks. So remember the first thing that you're gonna do is slip that first stitch purl wise. Grab both the Knight and the Zara. So you're working with two yarns in the first row and knit. So for this row, you're gonna knit all the way to the end of the row until you get to the very last stitch. So now that we're at the very last stitch, remember we're only going to use the Zara on the edge just to keep your project looking really, really clean. So that was row four. Row four and row one are exactly the same. For row five, all we're gonna do is slip the first stitch purlwise and knit all the way to the end using just your green Zara. So again, we're just gonna slip that first stitch purlwise and knit the entire row using just our green Zara. By the way guys, Zara is um, a superwash merino yarn. So it's really easy to just throw in the washing machine if you get it a little dirty or someone spills coffee on these coasters. Don't ever worry about it or you can hand wash them if you like. Okay, so we just finished knitting up row five. This is what it looks like so far. And now we are going to do row six, which is our second decrease row. Of course, we're going to start with our salvaged edge, which is just slipping the first stitch purlwise. Then you bring your yarn to the back and you're going to slip the first stitch knitwise, slip the second stitch knitwise, pierce your needle in the front of the two stitches, bring your yarn around, and knit through the back loops. So those two stitches, again, became one. Then you're just gonna knit to the last three stitches of the row. Okay, so now that we're on the last three stitches, again, we're going to knit these two together. and knit the last stitch. Okay, so that's it, you guys. It's really just a repeat of three rows. So slipping the first stitch always, no matter what you do, no matter what row you're knitting in this project, you're always going to slip the first stitch and knit the last stitch with just the green Zara. So in the first row, you're going to hold the Zara and the Knight double-ended and knit all the way across. The second row, you're just going to knit with the green Zara while still slipping the first stitch. And then the third, you're going to slip the first stitch, slip, slip, knit, knit to your last three stitches, knit two together, and knit the last. So repeat that until you finish row 18, and I will see you guys on row 19. Okay, here we are, you guys. We have just finished row 18. By this time, you should already see your triangle of the tree start to form. So for row 19, we're essentially going to continue on the exact same way we've been doing. So you're just going to knit this row with the lame, slipping the first stitch and only knitting with the green yarn on the very end. However, I did say we are stopping at row eight after row 18 because 
Now, instead of every three rows, we're going to decrease every four rows over the next eight rows. So you're gonna decrease every four rows twice. So let's see what that looks like. So again, slip that first stitch and pick up your knight. Knit all the way across your row until the very last stitch. Then drop your strand of night and knit the last stitch with just your green yarn. You're gonna work the next two rows by just plain knitting, slipping your first stitch and knitting the last, the same way we've been doing this whole time. The reason we are decreasing every four rows over two times is because no Christmas tree or no pine tree in general it just looks like a perfect triangle. So we wanna kind of elongate the top by adding in that extra row. So again, you're just going to knit this row the same as you have been doing. So now we are on row 23. We are on a decrease row. But if you'll notice, we're also on a row where we need to add lame. So make sure that the, the knight is wrapped around your yarn. You don't want to drop it here. So just be extra careful when you are knitting two together and slip slip knitting. And then just knit all the way to the last three stitches. Knit these two stitches together. And knit the last stitch with only Zara. Or your green yarn. So go ahead and repeat those four rows one more time. I will do it with you guys just because now the lame is in a different spot. So for the decrease row, we had the lame. You're going to knit the next two rows with just Zara. Your third row is going to be with the knight. And then your decrease row is going to be with just Zara. So slip your first stitch and then bring your yarn to the back. Knit the entire row. Turn your work and do the same thing. So for this third row, we need to add in our knight. Slip your first stitch and then bring your two yarns to the back. And then we're actually gonna decrease on this row. So to recap, we were decreasing every third row down here. Then we went to every fourth row. Now for one round, we're gonna decrease on this second row. So this is a row where you need your lame if you are doing every third row like me. So make sure you pick up your strand of Knight and Zara together. Slip your first two stitches and knit them together. Knit along until the last three stitches. Knit these two together. And then knit the last stitch with just your green yarn. So basically you guys, we're just going to follow this the whole way up. After we have decreased on the second row, we are going back to decreasing every three rows. Have your lame in every three rows. So now we did it in this row, which means we're going to knit two more with just Zara, and then another lame row. This one was our decrease row, so we're going to knit two rows, and then a decrease row. So every time you're working with your knight and your Zara held together, 
you're going to be decreasing. So again, do this all the way until you reach three stitches left. We have five stitches left on the needle. I just wanted to show you guys how I am doing my last decrease row to get to three stitches. So I, of course, am going to slip that first stitch and then I'm going to pick up my two yarns and bring them to the back. I'm gonna slip, I'm gonna slip, slip, knit, and then for these last two, I'm just going to knit these together. So there we have it. So we are on the very last row now. We are going to cast off. Since we only have three stitches left on the needles, we're gonna cast them off and be finished with our tree. So we're actually going to knit this very first stitch. I know I told you you have to slip the first stitch of every row. However, we are making an exception for the very last one. So we're going to knit the very first stitch just so we can get the tree at a nice crisp point at the end. We're gonna knit the second stitch. So we're gonna take that very first stitch and slide it off over that second stitch that we made. And we're gonna do that again. Knit, slide off, over. And then what you can do is just pull this yarn out so you have a really big loop and then cut it. So this is what our tree looks like so far. Yours should look a little something like this. So the next thing that we're gonna do is actually put in our tree stump. So to do this, we're going to take some brown Zara and turn our tree upside down and just figure out where the middle stitches are. So I want the five middle stitches on this project so you can actually go ahead and count all of them or you can just take a guess if you're not too picky about it so i am actually going to start right here so to pick up stitches basically what you're going to do is look at your cast on row and find where you want your first stitch to go and pop your needle right through it to join your brown yarn to the project what you're going to do is make a little loop at the end and grab both the tail and the ball side of the yarn and try and pull it in through. So we just made a little loop on our right needle. And you're just gonna continue doing that. So now we're just going to grab the yarn that's attached to the ball and pull it through. So we just picked up two stitches. So we're gonna do that three more times. Okay, and there you go, super easy. So then what you're gonna do is turn your work so that the yarn attached to the ball is facing you. And we are going to purl this whole row. If your first stitch gets a little loose, just pull that yarn right back in. Turn your work and just knit along these stitches. So we have just made two rows. Let's 
gonna look like three from that pickup row. We're gonna purl one more. And then I think this is long enough for me, so I'm going to go ahead and cast off here. So to cast off, I'm gonna slip the first stitch, then I'm gonna knit the second, and then pop the first stitch over the second. Again, knit, and then pop the stitch over. Okay, go ahead and pull out your yarn again and snip it. So that is it, you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and weave in these ends and show you the final look afterwards. Okay, you guys, so this is the final result. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you leave a comment or like and subscribe to this channel and we'll see you next time.